Boyers. Oh yeah, I said that right. Game Boyers. Tis I, Mike Martins, your handheld junkie. And I spent a whole day playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall the Foot Clan by Ultra. Let me tell you how I did. The Turtles first Game Boy game is fairly simple platforming style game where Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Donatello must battle against Krang and Shredder and save their friend April O'Neil in the process. Okay guys, I spent a day with this, some downtime, raining outside. Want to get back to my roots and as a handheld junkie, I started with the Tiger those Tiger, Ninja Gaiden, and games, like in those little arcades before the Game Boy came out. But this took me back. The platform is simple. It's side scroll. You have a choice to pick any one of the Ninja Turtles to start out. I started, I think, with was Don Raphael. Then I did Donatello. Then I did Leonardo. Then I did uh, uh, Michelangelo. The game has five stages. It's your typical roundabouts. Eat some pizza to get you know to rejuvenate your health type ninja turtle type game that you see in other platforms as it progressed this is the first game boy game ever made uh from the franchise to the game boy now the first scene the first is very typical side scroll back and forth type thing you could hold the jump button twice uh you could press it twice to give you the extra jump to give you more um uh, jump and if you push the uh attack button it gives you a kick in the air so you get a jump kick so you don't use the nunchucks when you're coming down, you don't use the, the sword, you don't use the sigh, unfortunately, or the staff. You just, unfortunately, you do a kick in the air, which is pretty cool. A little jump kick, I think that's pretty cool. First stage is uh, uh, out, out and about, I guess, in New York on the streets. And then uh, I used, um, I think it was Raphael I used first in the first stage. I kind of went through it with him. Then the second stage, I think I used Donatello, and that's when you hit the sewers. The sewers gets a little bit trickier because there's a bit of jumping involved. But not as bad as when he hit the streets. So I used Michelangelo for the streets. And you're jumping on these trucks. Kind of like bad dudes. I don't know if you guys remember bad dudes for this. I think it was Sega Master System. But anyways, kind of like bad dudes. You're jumping on the trucks and you're battling uh, enemies and stuff. I think that's pretty cool, actually. And then uh, the fourth stage, you're, you're in some, like, underground watery type semi kind of not complex yet it was the f the fifth stage is when you hit the big ball complex thing where you have to battle krang and shredder and i i enjoy the game very much you got the bosses your typical bosses your first boss is bebop spoiler alert by the way bebop your second stage boss is rocksteady your third stage boss is a character a fly that was in the cartoon series that a lot of people don't remember. I don't even remember. I remember that episode. It's this fly, and it looks like kind of semi-human fly. And that's the third stage. And then the fourth and fifth, well, I'm not going to give it away too much because I want you guys to play it and enjoy it. I had to go back to Roots with this. It is so cool, the side scroll back and forth. Very simple. A good game to relax to. Not too many memorization of buttons. Not too much memorization when it comes to... What am I doing here? Well, you're out to save April O'Neil. Go figure. <laughs> She's always getting herself in trouble. The the uh, reporter there. Anyways, that's my re review for Fall of the Foot Clan. I, I, I think the game is long enough. I, it took me 38 minutes, 40 minutes to clear. So it wasn't that long. So I really, I lied to you guys. I didn't spend the day playing it. I spent about 40 minutes and uh, I played it through again. And I tried different turtles for different stages to kind of get the feel of all of them.